Okay, so we're gonna take these uh, chicken thighs, put them in this bowl, and then we're going to make a your buttermilk mixture here. So um, you got your boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and you can see that there's no bone in it. They open right up. Now you can remove this fat if you want, or you can leave it in there. Um, there's not too much fat there, so I'm actually just gonna leave mine on. And let's get those in. Okay, so for making your own buttermilk, rather than going out and getting a jug of it, just use your regular home milk, and you can either use lemon juice or vinegar. I'm gonna use lemon juice because I'm hoping that it'll insert a little bit of a lemon flavor into the uh, chicken so that I don't have lemon pepper for the seasoning later, so I'm hoping for the seasoning here a little bit. So for every one cup of milk, you want to add a tablespoon of your acidic liquid. So pour that in, let that sit for a little bit just to let it kind of curdle and mix in. Um, if you look at it online, lots of people say for about five minutes to let it sit. Um, I say just a couple minutes here, and then add it in, and we'll probably have to do this a few times because you want to make enough buttermilk to cover your uh, chicken thighs here. So you can see that curdling there. It's thickened up. That's what you want, just like that. One cup of milk is all you're going to need, and it perfectly covers that amount. So let's cover this, put this in the fridge, and we'll continue making them tonight for supper. Okay, so we're back. We're gonna now, using your food processor, um, I have the flat blade in here, and I already have up my chives chopped. I'm actually using green onions instead of chives. I've got my Parmesan cheese measured out and everything else ready to go. So we've got our chicken that we had in our buttermilk. What you, the reason why we have it in the buttermilk is so that it kind of tenderizes the chicken and adds a little bit more flavor into the chicken there. So we're going to now pull these uh, chicken thighs out and get these into our food processor. Now you want to start adding all your ingredients, so your quarter cup of chives, your quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, one egg, make sure you don't get any shell in here, nothing would be worse than biting into a nugget and having a shell. Now you want three tablespoons of your soy sauce. You want a heaping teaspoon of garlic. Now I went out and I bought the chopped garlic already. So I'm gonna do a heaping teaspoon of this. And then you want half a teaspoon of Tabasco sauce. So I do the garlic first so that I can just use the same teaspoon and just do about half of it. Now get your lid on. So you want to get it slightly more done than what's shown here. So you want, because you can see st that there's still some big chunks in there, you want to get those rid. Oh, 
Okay, so we've got our chicken paste here, our flour for drenching, three eggs beaten, and our breadcrumbs because I ran out of panko, and then a tray that I'm going to put them in, and I'm just going to keep layering them because all my extras I'm going to freeze, and we'll go from there. So here you can see I made some of the chicken nuggets that were coated in flour, then bathed in eggs, and coated with just breadcrumbs and not panko. Um, I wasn't able to show you the whole process because uh, my camera died and my new puppy here has been a little treat to deal with today.